Hi guys and welcome back to Station Tutorials. Today I have a special one for you. The guys at QR Slate were kind enough to allow me to do a tutorial on their product. It is basically a digital assistant editor which will fill in any kind of metadata, take information, circle takes, any notes or comments that you may have on clips. It'll mark clips uh, with notes attached and then it digitally connects them with your clips through QR codes. It's pretty handy so uh, let's jump right in and I'll show you how this thing works. All right, so here this is the slate. Uh, as you can see, it looks like your standard slate, uh, except it's digital. So if you hit the plus sign here, the take will go up. If you hit the minus sign, the take will count down. If you hit reset, it will reset your take to one. Frames per second, if you click on this, the page will flip up, and we have a bunch of various frame rates here. If you uh, actually toggle down, there is a 60 frames per second as well option. So I'm just gonna choose 24, and as you'll see, the page will fold back down. We also have a shot type. There's a bunch of shot options here, and if you page down, there's even more options. Now there's also all the options for uh, interior, exterior scenes, MOS option, day, night. Okay, also if you select your camera roll, you can put in whatever you want for that, camera A, camera B. You can change your production name. I'm gonna change it to Station Tutorials QR Slate Tutorial. Put in the description here. You can put whatever you like here. I'm just gonna plug in directed by myself here just for the hell of it. And then if you click on Scene, uh, you can plug in whatever here for you want for your scene. I'm just gonna type in Test because that's what we are doing today. So this is taking test shots. I did a couple different variations just to test this thing out and see how it works. Did some interior and exterior just to kind of test the different looks and see if it can recognize the QR code in different situations. Once you're finished, if you click on your take organizer, you can then go through all your takes and see your takes. You can also amend any of these takes, change any data, add any data uh, that you wish to these takes. Once you're finished with that, you can email yourself the slate file. And after you have emailed yourself the slate file, you can see I have my clips here and the file that I emailed to myself. I'm going to go ahead and launch the QR Slate desktop app and throw these clips into the QR Slate desktop app. Now, you can also add your clips by clicking add. Then you need to open the slate updater file, which is the file that you emailed to yourself. So once I load that in, you can set the clip name as scene and take. So once it loads into your NLE, it will uh, be labeled as such. And then you can set the endpoint as the slate clap. You can also use the take duration for the in and out. So if you had like a great DIT or script supervisor on set that was running this app, the script supervisor would be the one setting the in out markers with the QR slate, which means that once it was loaded into your NLE, it would come in however it was marked by the script supervisor on set. All right, then you also have an option to include markers and you can also separate the scenes by bin which we're not going to do. I'm going to load this in for Final Cut 7 and Premiere. They also have Avid options and Final Cut X options as well. Once we hit Run, it'll ask you to save it. I'm just gonna save it as QR Test. And once it runs here, this will take a bit. Once this finishes, it will show up with the clips that were linked to the data. Any clips that are unlinked will be marked as red. So if I go through these clips here, you can see that our metadata is connected here at the bottom. So here's our interior clips. All right, those all connected properly. And this one as well. Yep, all four of our interior clips connected correctly. All right, let's see here. This glare clip, we had a false take on five, so that won't connect to anything. And yep another glare clip. Okay, both the exterior shots did not connect. And this is why I took these outside. I was wondering how well this slate is recognized in different situations under different circumstances. So the two exterior shots that had glares on the screens were unable to connect. This is the one downside of this thing. Um, it's not necessarily a QR slate problem. It's more a problem with the high gloss screens on both the iPhone and the iPad. Under the circumstances of there being glare and reflections, um, it's going to be hard for the QR slate to connect the data on these clips. So how do you connect the clips that the data didn't connect to? 
first of all, these clips don't come in an order. So what we can do here is click on the little arrow at the top here and it will rearrange these clips in numerical order from top to bottom. Once we click on that, then they will be in order in sequence. And the reason to do that is just because it's easier to um, match these up going along here. Let's drag our test four onto our clip 89 there. And let's drag our test six onto 90. We have to set the slate clap. So we'll go to the first frame where we hear the beep and set the clap. And same thing with take six here. And slate it. Okay, so once you have all these connected to your data, then we'll hit finish. And then it creates an XML file for you right here. So if you launch Final Cut, you can bring that XML file in. And you have some options here. You can create a new project file. You can set your sequence. Let's hit OK. It'll bring in a folder for you, and there's all our clips with all of our data. We have it organized by scene and take. As you remember before, I named the scene test. And then we have our shots, mediums, close-ups. We have our description. As you remember, I threw in the directed by description. And our scenes, our shot takes and even our comments here. So yeah, you can see that it all linked up pretty well. Okay, and then uh, we'll jump into Premiere. So in Premiere, we will import the same XML and that'll load up and you'll have a folder again. Same thing as before, our description, our log notes, our comments. Uh, the only thing that didn't come up here is the, the take description, but everything else seems to be in order here. You know, I found this app pretty helpful. I might use it down the road. Until next time, guys, this has been Station Tutorials. Thank you for watching. And guys, if you're interested in learning more about QR Slate, the links are in the description below.